Hey, what can I help you with? Hey, I have a West Point Cadet military musket. It came in my pawn shop. It's kind of a hard item for me to sell okay. in my shop. And I want to sell it to you guys because you guys have the customers. Um, I'm thinking it's worth around 5800 How much you get it for? 400 OK. <laughs> he named his price. All right, I don't blame you. I'm coming down to the pawn shop to sell my 1830 West Point Cadet musket. I'm hoping to sell today between four and $5,000. The minimum I would take today would be around 2000 And then without, you know, any paperwork or documentation on it, it's hard to sell in my shop. OK, I completely understand. It's not that uncommon for a pawn shop owner to walk into another pawn shop. We all know which ones have bigger markets for specialty items, and we all love to get cash on the spot. So what do you know about it? I've done a lot of research on this musket. It's got all the US markings, the cartouche marks, the inspection marks, and I believe it's an 1830 Springfield West Point Cadet military musket. And uh, there were 307 total made. The technology was changing around that time. They converted 153 of them to percussion. In the 1830s, Springfield Armory started changing the guns from flint locks to percussion. Percussion cap was a lot more reliable. So what they did was, right there, there was a hole going into the barrel. They capped the hole, put a nipple in. There used to be the lock right here, held a piece of flint. They just changed it over to a hammer that would go right into the cap that was set right on top of the nipple. I mean, if this is a training rifle from West Point, it's really rare. West Point is the oldest military academy in the US. And its alumni include two US presidents and just about every general of importance in the United States history. So becoming a cadet is a big deal. The way you get into West Point is a congressman has to recommend you, a senator, the vice president, or the president. OK, what, what year do we have on this barrel right here? See, 1830. OK, is that the only year they made a? Uh... West Point cadet, yeah. If this was used by cadets in the 1830s, Ulysses S. Grant could have trained with this musket. So if this is the real deal, it's an unbelievable piece. I mean, this looks like it was used. Whether it was used at West Point or not, I have no idea. It's yeah. easy to take old guns and then turn them into rare guns. Right. I see it all the time. You take a common gun, you turn it into a rare gun, you get a lot more money. If everything checks out, I would love to have it. I mean, it's getting harder and harder to find anything pre-Civil War. Let me get my buddy Sean down here. He's an expert in arms and armor. OK. All right? Sounds good. Thanks. Let me go give him a call. It would be awesome to have a training gun from West Point. It is beyond rare to find these outside of a museum. This could be an incredible find. What's up, Sean? The guys always call me in when they get something that they may not know enough about to make an offer, especially when it comes to big money items. Uh, so this is it. He says it's a cadet musket. I'm kind of dumbfounded when I hear the word cadet because you just don't see those muskets. And it also raises a red flag, too, because if, with anything that's a rarity, that brings those people to the table that want to fake it. If this musket is a real cadet musket for West Point, it could be worth thousands. But there's a lot of little nuances that has to be proven before I can ascertain whether this is the real deal. You know, the history was that they came up with a scaled down version of the standard musket. It just didn't fly. So what they decided to do was, well, you know, West Point, why don't we give them to the cadets as training muskets? Mm -hmm. So they only had a couple hundred of them versus the 1816 model that they made almost 675,000. Wow. To ascertain whether this is a, a true West Point Cadet musket, first of all, the barrel length. If this is not what the specifics are listed in the, the original records, then that's a tip off that it may not be the Cadet musket. The barrel length is going to tell me something right off the bat. OK. OK. Unfortunately, this is not the cadet musket. Really? This is your standard Model 1816. The cadet musket barrel was only 40 and a half inches. This is 42 inches. Mm -hmm. The lock plate was 5 and 5 eighths inches. This one is almost 6 and 3 quarters. If it were a cadet musket, this thing would be worth anywhere from five to 10,000. Okay. Because this is just your standard Springfield 1816, it's worth 1,000 to 1,200. That's kind of disappointing to hear. I mean, the good thing is, is that you still have a good, honest Civil War musket yeah. that you know, a collector would love to have. Thanks, man. You're the best. Anytime. Right on, man. All right, good Thank luck. Thank you.
All right, so what do you want to do with it? Sell it. How much you want for it? Well, I don't know. Um, about a thousand. That's what I'll get out of it if I'm lucky. You know how this works. You own a pawn shop. Yeah. I wish it was a cadet musket, but it's not. So um, I'll give you 700 bucks. How about nine? How about 750? I'm gonna get a grand out of it. You're making money, I'm making money. Everybody be happy. Um, can you go eight and a half? Eight and a quarter. You know eight and a quarter sounds fair. Okay, we'll do sounds that. like a deal. You wanna write him up there? Thank you. All right, man, let's go do some paperwork. All right. I'm sure this guy wasn't too happy his musket wasn't from West Point, but hey, he still made a profit. Now we're gonna bring it out and see if it actually fires, because if it does, I'm gonna make more money. So even though this isn't the real West Point Cadet musket. I'm gonna show you what they had to go through to learn how to shoot one of these muskets. You think I'm West Point material? <laughs> <laughs> what do they got that I don't have? 4.0 GPA, less than 50% body fat. <laughs> but, chum, you're gonna shoot that musket like you were at West Point. Put the gun up there, let him load it. So what are we shooting today, Sean? Real musket ball. You got a loaded weapon. Let's do this. 50 bucks says he doesn't even hit the target. I bet he hits it. Deal. Here you are, my man. All right. Ready to follow the orders? If you were a cadet at West Point, extreme discipline was the rule of the day. Forward march. <laughs> Since Chumley is going to be the cadet, I'm a little concerned. Halt. Aim. Cock your weapon. Fire when ready. Did he hit it? <laughs> Where'd you hit it? Uh, uh. <laughs> you didn't hit it, it Jump. There's got to be a hole in there somewhere. You got my 50 bucks? How'd you win 50 bucks? You usually hit part of the target. Dude, could I get 10 bucks? <laughs> Do they always make money on you like this? Probably. 